Today I'm going to be using this curved wood sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. It measures 24 by 14 inches. I'm going to start by painting it using some Wise Owl black paint. And I just want to get a nice good coat on there. And the brand of the wood is called Wood Pile. You do not need a coupon, but you can get 40% off every other week. Hobby Lobby marks down their wood. So always keep an eye out for that before purchasing some of these larger signs because they can get pricey without the discount. I'm going to allow that to fully dry. Once dry, I'm going to find the center of my board, which is about the 12 inch mark. And I'm going to be using a Maker Studio adhesive mesh stencil today. This one is called Hang the Ornaments and it measures eight and a half by 11 inches. Now the adhesive mesh stencils are reusable as long as you properly care for them. Now these stencils are really great for beginner stencilers as you get no bleeding with them as long as you apply the medium correctly. Now I'm going to cut my stencil into three pieces just going across here dividing the three sections and I'm just going to be using the ornament part. So I'm going to place my first ornament that I picked out of the batch here, which is going to be the star. I'm going to place that in the center. And again, these are adhesive. I'm going to be using the chalk art paste in metallic gold and metallic silver. We do have other colors available on our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com. I'm going to use my silicone spread pal to apply the chalk paste to the section of the stencil that I want. And you just want to make sure you apply a decent amount so that it can work its way through the mesh screen and get onto your project. Now I do use some painter's tape to just kind of block off any other areas I do not want to get the chalk paste on. So now I'm just going to move to the right here and I'm just eyeballing all this. I did not measure perfectly. And now I'm going to use the metallic silver using my silicone spread pal. You can also just use a plastic spreader. Both are available on our website as well. And after you just put a little pressure and apply the paste to the mesh stencil, it goes through the screen and onto your project. And I'm basically just rotating between the metallic gold and the metallic silver chalk paste and then the different style ornaments and I'm just putting them at different areas on my board. Now another thing to remember is the chalk art paste is not a permanent medium. This is meant so that if you prep this board properly you can then remove the chalk paste for the next season if you were doing this on a chalkboard or an area that it could be removable. If you want a more permanent solution you're going to look at our ceramic paint or the gel ink. And then once I was done with the right side I repeated the same exact steps on the left side and again I'm just hanging the ornaments at different lengths on my board. And one other important thing to remember is when you're all done using your mesh stencil, make sure you wash it right away. Next, I'm going to take this pre-made bow that I get from the Dollar Tree. I love pre-made bows. I'm not really great at making them just out of the wired ribbon. So I'm going to glue that in the center here. And then coming out of the left and right side of the bow, I'm going to use some artificial pine. And the biggest thing here is whatever you choose, whatever type of artificial greenery, you just want it to be a little longer than your last ornaments on the end. I'm going to use a small thin art brush and add the little strings coming down from the greenery and connecting to my ornament. So it looks like the ornaments are hanging from the greenery above. And now these small art brushes, we have a pack of seven different sizes on our webpage as well. And there we go. Now we just have this very easy Christmas sign. 
And because the chalk paste is not permanent, I do not need a top coat on top of this. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.